Hello there, people. This is Silver Leafy on 9055 back again after a long day of school and just a bunch of stuff. So I apologize for not being able to upload this week. This week has been really stressful for me. Like, I've been doing track and all sorts of stuff. I've been having a lot of homework and all that. But it's finally the weekend, and now I'm uploading you guys a deck profile. In today's deck profile, we will be uploading uh, Masked Heroes. A.K.A. just Heroes, if you want to call it that. Uh, and this is pretty much a deck I got done updating after plenty of years of research. And finally, I've gotten it to, like... In my opinion, the peak of its ability, you guys can say what you want, add cards or whatever, whatever, put that down in the comments. But for now, we're going to get into this. Now, starting off, these are really the three main cards you're going to need. Uh, I'm running three Elmaterial Shadow Mist. This is going to get your mass change into your hand if you're running a mass hero deck. If you're running a regular hero deck, then you're going to want Woodsman so you can get your polymerization. But you're going to want three, of course, of that. Two Prisma to send your monsters that you need to the graveyard in order to activate effects and stuff like that. And I'm running two of him. One Avion, that's also for my, that's for Acid. Oh, that's Ocean, wrong one. One Avion. One Wild Heart, he's good against traps because no traps can affect him. One Neos Alias. One Elmotero Heat and one Elmotero Lady Heat. And this is pretty much it for the hero lineup. The two fire types are going to be for the two fire uh, mass heroes I have in this deck. Um, material Ocean will be used to bring back monsters if I can use his effect. And also summon Acid. And then of course, um, Material Neos Alias will be used to summon back my, uh, what do you call it, mass hero, what is it? Yeah, Koga. And that's pretty much it for the hero engine. Moving on to the side engine, support, two summoners monk, uh, and three gong birth for special summoning effects so you can use your uh, shell mist effect. And then I'm running one wing Karibo. And my monster life is really small. I'm only running uh, I'm only running a couple of monsters in this deck. I'm not running a lot of them. Moving on my spells, I am of course running the three mass chains, which you're gonna to need to run three of if you're gonna be running a mass hero deck. This basically is gonna transfer all your heroes into of course your mass heroes. Then of course I'm running two mass charges to bring back two of your mass changes and one of your heroes, but you're gonna to need to do that in order to summon back your dark walls and on top of that your kogas and other stuff you're gonna be using. Then I'm also running two form change. Uh this card's pretty good. In fact, it's actually really good to be able to use with this deck. Like, let's say you had a Dark Wall out, and they tried, like, Bomb of or something like that. You can bring back your Dark Wall by using Form Change, and then summon a different hero, like Acid. So you can blow all the spells and traps out of the water, and you can gain 300 attack for that. You can also do this during the battle phase. So you can go attack with Dark Wall, get your stuff done, and then go Form Change, and then combo into all your other good stuff that you need to do. Uh, then I'm running one Flu to summon Karibo, obviously, for Karibo. One Palmerization, because I am running some Elemental Hill Fusions in this deck. One Miracle Fusion. One Our Righteous Justice. One E Emergency Call, since Rhoda went down to one. So, that kind of sucked. One Reinforcement of the Army. One MST. Uh, Hero's Bond, which is going to be used to uh, special summon your Shadow Mist. And its effect, activate while there's only an Elemental hero, hero or Evil Hero on the field. Special summon two level four lower Elemental Hill Monsters from your hand. So if you have a monster on your field, Elemental Hero, or any of those other ones, which I'm running Elemental Heroes, then you can go ahead and special summon your Shadow Mist and then get your mass change or whatever you're going to get into your hand. No, this is a new one. Yours just ripped up. This is new. Uh, next, I'm also running a Hero Lives. I really would use this as the last resort. Like, I know people use it when they don't get the Hero that uh, Shadow Mist out on the first turn, but originally... Like, people usually do that in tournaments. I know people see, you probably see people in tournaments use Hero Lives right off the bat if they don't get what they want. But, uh, that's pretty much it for my spells. I'm really, like, I'm not running a really big spells and trap lineup, but most of it's spells. Hmm. 
next up, last but not least, our traps for the main deck. One compulsive ray evacuation device. I got that a couple weeks ago from the card store, right? Uh, one mirror force. I know. One negate attack. Bombless trap hole. Battle guard of howling. Wiretap. I'm not sure we're only two battle guard of howling. So wiretap and hero signal. I know. On both sides, bro. One. Doesn't have to be for both I ask. That's why I put it in my deck. I know. That's why I said. You know, I get it. Whether well, it's an elemental hero, destiny hero, or evil hero, face up on the field, plus so two level four or lower elemental monsters. So if I have a monster out, I'm a two hero heat, for example, and I have two heroes in my hand, heroes bond. There you go. Doesn't go for both players. Unless both players have the same card. But that's pretty much it for my traps. Moving on to my extra deck. I'm, of course, running my two Master of Dark Law. I'm not running three because I feel like two is fun. And Dark Law is really, really weak. Like, it's two, 24, which people could easily run over. And unless you got stuff to, to protect it, then it's not going to be really helpful. So that's why I'm only running two. Uh, next up, I'm running one Master of Diane. So you can help special some of your lower fours if you need to do that. Um, two Divine Win, because these can help get you some draw power. Whenever this thing destroys a monster, you go ahead and draw a card. And on top of that, it can't be destroyed by battle, so you can use it as a wall if you want to. Until they get something to probably destroy or you get what you want. Two Koga. And two Goku. Goku, not Goku. What am I talking about? Uh, but these are for your fire. This is going to be what I'm using, Lady Heat and Heat 4. Also, I'm going to be wearing one Master of Acid. I wish I had more, but it's hard to get. Where is this I'm not done yet. Oh, uh, and one mass hero Anki. Now moving on to the elemental heroes, which I'm only running four of in my extra deck. I'm running one elemental hero, the shining, one elemental hero, absolute zero, and one elemental hero, Ascarado, and one tornado. And these are like backup ones, just in case I'm not able to summon these. That's what the polymerization and miracle fusion are for. And that's pretty much it for my elemental hero deck. I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Please comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more Yu Gi Oh! and Pokemon deck profiles that I'll be making on later on. And also, put down in the comments, like, what are your opinions on what I should put in the deck, new cards, and all sorts of stuff. Because recently I went to the card store and I've seen there has been like a bunch of new cards and stuff that you could put for the fusions, especially like the product plants and stuff. I know that's a new meta that's going to be coming out and it's going to be pretty good. But other than that, that's pretty much it. I'll be also uploading today or tomorrow uh, a Pokemon Showdown video. Also, my friend Jalen, his YouTube channel, uh, Top 10 Evolved, he is going to be doing a Kahoot live stream tomorrow. And it's Kahoot, for those who don't know what it is, it's basically a quiz game. But it's really, it's really like, it's really fun. Like the last one we did, it was, it was really fun to do. Uh, other than that, then that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and this is Silver Leafy on 9055 logging out. Peace.